In this short video, I'm going to give an overview of simulator debugging and show off some of the other features such as the project dashboard in MPLAB Express. Starting in Discover, I have a Q10 device and I'm going to just look under the category getting started. And you can see that I have a number of different options, many different peripherals. I know that I want something on a port because I want something with an LED and a button for the hardware debugging in the next video. You can hover over to see the full descriptions here. Well, these ones here, you can see they use sleep. I, I don't need that in this case. And here we read an input, drive the output high or low, so turn the LED on or off depending on if the button is pushed or not. Here you have a bare metal version and here we have an MCC version. Well, let's try the MCC version. And if we scroll down to the end, you can actually see a GIF of what's happening here in this project. Okay, we, we push the button and the LED comes on. So let's open with Express and continue. So if I have a sandbox, it will be cleared as I open a new project. We clone from Git. Okay, so the project opens. I can open the source file, main.c. Uh, scrolling down, we can see basically we just get a switch value and set it high or set it low. You can see nothing's happening yet, but let's program the device. And now the LED is on as long as I push the button. Okay, so for this kit, you can see that in Project Properties, by default, the simulator is the debug tool. Under Open Device Datasheet, what we actually do here is open the product page. From here, it's a single click to get the device datasheet. And for example, if we go to the development environment, under demo and evaluation boards, you'll find the details of the kit that we have connected. In the schematic, for instance, we can see that we have the LED and switch connected to RE0 and RE2 respectively. I would like to set a couple of breakpoints on LED high and LED low. And if I want to view these debugging breakpoints, here I can see my breakpoints window. So I'm going to create a uint8 variable called count. And every time I set the LED high, I'm going to increment it. And every time the LED goes low, I'm going to decrement it. And you'll see that here we also have a variables window. I can move windows around by dragging them. So you can see here I have a variables window now. And let's start a debug session. Okay, so the breakpoint is hit and count has a value of zero. So let's try a few times. Now count is wrapped around to FF. We're using the simulator, so we're not manipulating the state of that bit, so it will stay low. In the next video, we'll show you how you can connect hardware and actually debug from the cloud with MPLAB Express.